here is a case of 45 year old male patient hypertension ckd on hemodialysis serum creatinine 9.5 post hemodialysis 6.9 hemoglobin is 7.8 after transfusion 9.6 we have pre stented for bilateral renal calculi the case actually has a left side large upper ureteric stone with inferior calicial stone and right side middle calicial stone and one more stone in the middle calyx and the right upper stone and the right side middle calyx there is dependent posterior one secondary stones for there and one stone in this appears to be in the least parenchyma maybe a diverticular stone or in the most dependent posterior part schematic representation of this case actually the left kidney the upper ureter large one stone was there and inferior calicial we planned for supine uh, pcnl uh, we kept in the supine position but we when we went inside the ureteroscopy we could do with the rigid ureteroscope because the stone was not very hard and all the fragments have gone into pelvis and pushed into the upper calyx and the lower calyx stone also is taken rirs into the upper calyx and removed this definitely is minimally invasive for the patient when compared to the right side it is little complicated we proceeded after the left is over when rgp is done on the lower calyx is delineated whereas uh, the uh, upper and middle are not delineated we have taken help of the ultrasound as well as the cm because large stone stone guided puncture can be done below which one stone and upper calyx one stone was there in a standard fashion we did the supine pcnl and then went into the upper and removed that and lower also removed one small stone was not reachable in the lower part of the middle calyx that is actually residual stone in ct so with this rirs and supine pcnl we are sharing the video how it is done ultimately when we did the nephrostogram the middle and uh, uh, the um, upper calyx are delineated which are communicated by a infundibulum which is very narrow into pelvis and the lower calyx from the nephrostogram is not delineated so with this uh, uh, schematic representation now we will uh, demonstrate the uh, uh, surgery video so this is the left rirs the stone was in the upper part not visible very clearly stent removal done and then we did rigid ureteroscopy pass a guide wire by the side of the stent the disadvantage of rigid ureteroscopy is water outflow will not be there so immediately uh, we realized that it is not very hard stone so as much as fast possible we have broken into multiple pieces and some of the pieces anyway in such large stone will go up into the kidney because the inferior calicial stone was there we have done R rirs in the same setting so that patient will have general anesthesia less with the renal failure and low hemoglobin this is a small ureteric stone in the ureter as much as possible push back into the kidney and do rirs is better than manipulating in the ureter so this is pushed with a little bit of water because the access sheath is present now water outflow will be good and we can continue the surgery another 15 20 minutes this is in the pelvis and uh, stone was not that hard so little bit of popcorn and pop dusting was used and these bigger stones are pushed into the upper calyx so largely dilated system even though flexible scope angle is obtuse the flexion was more to reach the inferior calyx so some of the inferior calicial stones are taken with the basket and put it into the upper calyx so that uh, the stone clearance rail will be better this is the way the one of the large stone is taken and put it into the easy upper calyx and then popcorning is done all those stones this is the popcorning in the last part uh, the thulium fiber laser helps a lot in such cases this is the at the end no problem then we uh, planned for the right sided supine pcnl because uh, right side uh, multiple stones are there unlikely that rirs will be successful in such large volume with so many stones so we planned initially rgp which delineated only the inferior calyx where the stones are not there on ct now middle calyx puncture is done with ultrasound guidance as well as the direct stone guided puncture because it is in the periphery and the parenchyma is also not very thick at that juncture guide wire is parked into the upper and standard alken dilatation is done and supine pcnl advantage is that flexible scope can come from below 
and movement from to the upper calyx is very easy that's why we could remove the middle calyceal store uh, by gravity most of the fragments come down an advantage is that we can flush uh, from the uh, below with the ureter catheter or with the ureteroscope or with the uh, obturator of the access sheath which is open ended this is uh, in the cook all of them are open ended so then the once these stones are removed we went to the upper calyx also and all these stones are upper calyx is uh, actually looks down that means uh, in supine position uh, upper calyx is more posterior naturally so the fragments will come drop down from the lateral aspect uh, of the uh, tract dilatation which we use as the uh, nephroscope which we use for the nephroscope and again in the middle calyx only these secondary stones were there most probably because of the middle calyceal stone uh, main stone these stones are formed we removed all these stones carefully uh, whatever the visibility and flexion is available uh, at this stage one small stone was visible which was at the most posterior and periphery and parallel calyx so this is the infundibulum of the middle and lower calyx this is the again lower part of the middle calyx this is the infundibulum which the scope was not going because the lower calyx does not have stones we did not try too much here instead we passed the flexible scope from below entered the pelvis then entered the narrow infundibulum of the middle and upper calyx we turned down but we could not see that small stone this is the nephrostogram uh, where middle and upper are communicated by a small infundibulum whereas lower is not communicated this is at the end uh, one small diverticular stone is left behind and this is a picture nine majority of the stone burden is removed and patient recovered thank you